Hi, welcome to another episode of the Walkdown Lectionary. This week, we're looking at Jesus' high priestly prayer on the night before he was crucified. In that prayer, he asked for protection and guidance for those who follow him and who believe in his teachings. It's a powerful and sometimes dense prayer that can teach us a lot about the nature of our mission in this world. Today we're going to be reading from John chapter 17, verses 11 through 13. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protect them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them and not one of them was lost except the one destined to be lost so that the scripture might be fulfilled but now i am coming to you and i speak these things in the world so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves this is one of the places in john's gospel that you can find the source of the united church of christ's motto that they may all be one it also appears a few verses later at the end of chapter 17. The UCC adopted that motto at its founding in 1957 as four distinct and proud denominations came together to form a more united church. Of course, the idea back then was that this move would be the model for the larger church, a movement towards overcoming obstacles based on subtle theological differences and traditions of practice in different religious traditions to unite the church for a singular mission in the world. We know now, looking back over the last 60 some years, that that hasn't quite happened. Churches continue to emphasize distinctions between each other rather than doing the hard work to unify. And we see the same thing in our culture and politics. Division and decisive divisiveness rule the day. And it seems that those who are on the extreme ends of the social political spectrum seem to push farther away from the middle rather than move towards moderation and tolerance. It can be hard to embody that early spirit of ecumenism that the UCC represented at its founding. And it can be hard to imagine that in our broken realm of political and economic division, that we, as the children of God, will ever decide on our own to be one. But that's what Jesus prays for. He prays that we might be able to overcome ourselves and our individual wants and desires to unite and come together for the good of the, wor the, good of the world and the glory of God. So what steps can we take today to move the world a little bit closer to Jesus' dream? It can be hard sometimes to even see where to take that first step. Praying for that unity would seem to be a good place to start, but this is something that won't be solved with just thoughts and prayers. This is a goal that's gonna require some action. So my challenge to you is to think about the ways that this week, in the course of your everyday lives, that you can do something that moves us a little closer to that goal of unity. It might be as simple as reaching out to the person in your office that doesn't seem to fit in with everyone else. Or maybe it's getting involved in a ministry that seeks to serve a portion of the population that you don't normally have any contact or experience with. And may those simple actions serve to broaden our perspectives on life and our work towards unity. Let's pray. God, it is our hope that we may all be one. Give us the strength to make unity a reality. Amen. Thanks for joining me again today for the Walkdown Lectionary. Be sure to check out the musical selection in the comments below. And if you found today's devotional to be helpful or inspiring, be sure to share it with others on social media. I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, be safe, stay at home, and wear your mask. Peace be with you.